all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. See, that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Feel someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. That doesn't look like normal security. What is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. I mean, who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. This what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight here. side Hey, 
Use the catwalk to get across. You're really close now. The power source should be in one of the rooms up here. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic? and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs. Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. It's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. Son? I, uh... I owe you an apology. I... I shouldn't have lashed out like that. 
You have to understand, I've never been very good at this. Never mind that we live rather extraordinary lives. Yeah, I kind of liked my ordinary one. You can't escape who you are, Desmond. So I've noticed. Look, it's silly for us to go back and forth like this. I admit, I did a shitty job raising you. I apologize, I'm sorry. But it's important you understand it didn't come from a bad place. You're my son. I love you. I guess I was so busy trying to make sure nothing bad happened, I didn't consider the consequences. Truce. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you're exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo, with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. <laughs> 